Evening Year 6. Um, just want to say, well done. What an outstanding day of challenges that you have completed with creativity, enthusiasm and some of the tasks we've seen have literally bl blown us away. I know Mr Rook, Mrs Battershill and Mr Chapman all want to take the opportunity shortly to share their thanks with you and celebrate some of the outstanding pieces that they've had the pleasure of looking at and reading. And I just want to say what a pleasure it has been having you all engage so well with such a new and unprecedented time that we've all faced. But you have all shown the resilience throughout this week that you can certainly step up to any challenge. I'm sure, without a shadow of a doubt, that your time in September, when you're due to start All Saints Academy, will be a smooth transition. You will be able to settle in with the perseverance and determination that you've shown this week. Hi, it's Mr Chapman from All Saints. I'm the Head of Science. It was so great to see all your photos and videos of all the lava lamps you've made, all your answers to your questions. A couple of shout outs to Maya, to Jack, to Ashley, to Poppy all outstanding and so many more were really really good as well but I can't mention everyone because there were so many. Um, an extra shout out to Ryan who could be the next David Attenborough, really really good to see, really professional video and it was really great to watch. One more thing, please ask if you can do this for whoever you live with, but if you look south east tonight, hopefully the clouds will clear, you may be able to see Jupiter and Saturn at about half 10 to 11 but hopefully the clouds will clear for that. Well done for all the videos that you have sent in and if anyone's got any more, please keep them coming. Stay safe. Hi guys, today we are making a lava lamp. So at the end, it will look like this. First, we get a bottle and fill it halfway with water. Then we add the food colouring. Next, we add oil. First, though, we have to mix it up. Then add the oil and fill it up all the way. So next, we'll let it rest. Here is one I made earlier. Now we just add the tablet. The tablet will make it bubble. And there we go, my lava lamp. Hello Year 6, Mr Brook here. I just want to say how fantastic it's been seeing all of you sending in your pictures of your tetrahedrons and icosahedrons today. They've all been absolutely fantastic. I've particularly enjoyed seeing those of you who sent in your step-by-steps as you've gone through the process, those of you that have used some different paper to get different designs, but a special shout out goes to Erin, Hayley and Phoebe for making the attempt at the icosahedrons, which is absolutely outstanding.
26, Mrs. Batcher here. I just wanted to say a big well done for your participation in the English challenge today. We had some really interesting and really creative stories. So a big well done to all of you who have participated. I look forward to seeing more of your creative writing when you join us in September. Um, there were a couple of stories that stood out to me in particular um, because of a bit of a twist in the tale. Um, lots of you had Lady Battershell actually as a murderer, which I quite liked. Um, but Eric Ingram actually didn't have a murderer in his story and he thought it was suicide, which I really liked. So well done for that, Eric. And also Victor from 7CH. Um, his murderer was Kwame Ngong because Nick had found out he was the leader of an in international illegal military operation um so i really like that subplot as well so well done to you guys also i'd like to say a big well done to kyle fender who wrote his story in chapters which was absolutely superb but overall i was really pleased with the quality and the ideas year six so well done have a good summer and we will see you soon All that's left for us to do this week is obviously the, the Q&A will be taking place tomorrow so please don't forget to log on to the All Saints Academy website where both myself, Mr Matniff and Mrs Mitchell will be answering some of the most popular questions that you've been asking throughout this week. But all that's left for me to say is thank you again, thank you so much for taking part and we are really looking forward to seeing you in September. So enjoy the summer holidays, rest up, take care and stay safe.